This is Jumar Ben Hash from The Last Four. Sit back and relax. UTV is starting now. Chillin', man. What's Yo, going on, we're in the studio with the last post right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah? Umar, man. I'll come back through for that. You bless us, baby. Got you. All right, one. see you tonight. Be easy. All right. I'm Umar Ben Hassan. I'm one of the last four. And the group started May 19th, 1968 at Mount Moore Spa. Abio Duloni Roller was there. David Nelson was there. Dallin Kane was there. They did a show together. It went well because they had been doing singular you know, individual spots around Harlem they own. So they decided to do that collective thing on May 19th, Malcolm's birthday at Mount Moore Spa. It went well, so they decided to stay together. They became a group, so their thing was to get a name. David Nelson had been, had been reading a poem by a South African poet by the name of Little Willie Cocatilli. He had wrote a poem called A Walk Towards the Sun. And in that poem, he stated, this will be the last days of our talk, song, dance, and music, so therefore, we are the last poets of this world. So that's how we got our name. So, David Nelson, Dylan Kay, Abdul Dulon Roller, an original conga player, Elijah, was the first individual to use the name, the last poets. But when I saw the brothers at, at Antioch College in Yellow Springs, Ohio, David Nelson has left. It was then, Felipe Luciano, a Puerto Rican brother, who became part of the group. He's also one of the founding members of the Young Lords. So I saw Felipe Luciano, Abio Doom, Galen Kane, and Elijah. Blew my mind. I said, boom, I'm going to do what y'all do. They said, come to New York to our loft. The East Winds on 125th Street. I show up. Uh, Galen Kane is gone now. And Felipe is gone. So it's just Abio Doom and the Kukuma player left the line. So I become part of the group. And we bring another brother who lives in Fort Greene. He becomes part of it. His name was Alafio Boudin at the time, but now his name is Alaf Mansur Nuddin. So myself, Abby Odun, the Liza Kunga player, and Jalal, the other poet, we did that first album, the last poet, the yellow and blue one. Well, you know, Kanye West uh, has been a fan of ours. You know, his mother and well, his father was ex Black Panther, so. His mother and father played our album for when he was a little boy, and he knew who we were, and that we were still around. So he said, Wow, man, I think I want to reach out to them, and you know, out of respect, we really appreciate that. I don't want to put them on the album. So they reached out, and well, Common, we love Common because Common is a word master, and he's very conscious, and we both along those similar lines, raising conscious, so that's how it came together. And they worked real well, went off real well. A lot of people liked it. Well, actually, as I was telling a young sister, I used to shine shoes in the street, you know. And shoe shine is a business, and every business has to have a gimmick or some new unique aspect that makes people want to come to you or patronize you. So I should, you know, make little rhymes like, you know, shoe shine, shoe shine, can't be beat, shoe shine, shoe shine, give your soul a treat. Everybody say, oh, he's a cute little fella. Yeah, man, I want you to come shine my shoes. I like you. This is Mom Ben Hansen. I want to thank uh, UTV for having me, and I'm going to drop a few words from a poem called personal things, because a lot of people are so called, personal thing goes like this, time in becomes time out. Group anxieties become personal doubt. Expressing ourselves as that dots and dashes, feel cocaine and false eyelashes. Living inside words that seem to lie. Living inside excuses that pass us by. Living inside loneliness becomes a high. Living gets mixed up with wanting to die. This is Umar Ben Hassan. And like you, I am watching UTV.